All right, sorry for all the extra noise. We're in a really bad snowstorm right now, 100 mile an hour winds. I'm doing a quick overview. So I'm waiting on my catch can bolt to come in. So I don't have anything hooked up for the PCV uh, other than it is still hooked up to this breather over here. So it's just not making an oil mess. But for my B-Series throttle body, I have this stock TPS. Um, the stock one, you have to drill two rivets to get it, and those are pain in the butt. But the way I hooked it up, so on the magnesium manifold, you have this port right here. So what I did is I took that line, I ran it, I took a T that I had, and then this line goes over here to this sensor. And pretty sure this is the purge valve solenoid. And what I noticed is, is that before when I tried this in the, the way past, I never had this hooked up before after the throttle body blade. So, tube normally bolts on the top of the manifold. So it normally sits like this and this tube is on top. And then if you look, it's behind the throttle body blade and that hooks up to that purge valve. And so, I think that's why my car idles so well. Because the first time I tried the B-Series throttle body swap, I did not have this like that. And it didn't idle at all, among amongst other reasons, but pretty sure that's why. So I have my custom IDAC plate, so my IDAC's just chilling down there. Um, it's plugged in, and then I have that teed off, so the front port on it, teed off, goes into the manifold, and then the rear port I have getting direct air from my intake, my new 3.5 inch custom intake, which I just gold heat wrapped for that, keep the intake temps down a little bit. And then I have this hose barb, which is in there for the uh, for this unit. I'm not entirely sure what that is. And then I have my intake temp sensor, which is drilled around on the bottom with an extended harness that goes to the stock right there. Since I had a, there's no port for it on the side of the magnesium manifold like there's an aluminum. But yes, yeah, so there's the overview of that. I will get a dust filter for, or uh, a cover for this, so that way it doesn't all gross. But it runs really good. Idles at constant 750 and does not die out, so it's actually pretty cool. And then I have the stock throttle cable bracket, which is bolted in with two 10 mils that I had laying around. And uh, yeah, so this B series. Auto body's direct bolt up. Just make sure you have a proper gasket and a proper size. Um, recommend thermal because it's usually a thicker, harder material than a paper gasket. It'd probably be stuck in the paper one unless your porting is absolutely perfect and mine is not. Um, so, yeah, that's a quick overview of that. And then, it's the little same setup as before. So, runners, fuel rails, all that stuff. It has remained the same other than importing. So, yeah.